Welcome to this YouTube channel. If this is the first time of you coming across my lecture, if you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you for being part of this channel. In this lecture, I want to prove a solution to question number 1 to 10, objective part of ICA November 2024, Financial Accounting Foundation level. ICA November 2024, Foundation Financial Accounting, solution to question number 1 to 10. Number 1. What are the primary roles of accountants in business and the economy? A. Providing legal advice to business and individuals. B. Managing human resources and employee recruitment. C. Conducting market research and analyzing consumer behavior. D. Preparing financial statements and conducting audits. E. Designing marketing campaigns and advertising strategies. So the primary role of accountant is preparation of financial statements and conducting audits. Preparing financial statements. Answer is D. The answer to the question is D. Number one. D. Option letter D is the answer to number one. Number two, what is the purpose of a chart of accounts in business? A. To organize financial transactions into identified categories of assets and liabilities. Assets, liabilities, income, and expenses is correct. B. To generate instructions and policies for recording information in the financial statements. No. C. To design a unique code and headings for each personal ledger account. The correct option is A. D. To follow the rules of accounting set by the government. No. E. To result in consistent posting of transactions. The correct answer to number two is A. Number two, A. Use the information below to answer question three and four. A company has, rece has receivables at year end of 2 million to 50,000 naira. The company has a policy of maintaining a general allowance of 5% on its receivables. 5% on its receivables. The general allowance brought forward from the previous period was 52,000 naira. Number three, what is the general allowance for doubtful debts in the statement of profit or loss at the current year end based on the company's policy? A. 52,000 naira. B, 60,500. C, 105,000. D, 112,500. E, 173,500. No, it is the amount that will be recognized in the statement of profit or loss you are to determine. The amount we normally recognize in the statement of profit or loss is the amount of increase or decrease in allowance for receivables. Remember the opening balance. Opening balance for receivables. You are given the opening balance to be 52,000 naira. The one for the previous year. The general allowance brought forward from the previous period was 52,000. If that is 52,000, how much is the closing balance? Closing balance in respect of receivable. Which is 5% of 2,250,000. 5% of 2,250,000. What is 5% 5, 5 of 2,250,000? That gives us 112,500. 112,500. Then you have increase. An allowance for receivable. 
It is this increase that will appear in the statement, statement of profit or loss. The amount of increase. So subtract. What is the difference? 52 thousands. Let's subtract it from the 12500. So you have 60,500. It is this 60,500 that will be recognized in the statement of profit or loss. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. The answer to number three is B. Number four, what is the net receivable after considering the general allowance at the current year end? Remember, the allowance at the year end is 112,500. This is the working to number three. Number four. So, you know, receivable balance. So the balance in respect of receivable was two million two fifty thousand. Two million two fifty thousand. From this, you now deduct allowance for receivable at the year end. Allowance for receivables. The one at the end of the year is the amount you are going to deduct. The one at the end of the year is one twelve five hundred. It is one hundred and twelve thousand five hundred that we need to be subtracted. If you subtract 112,500 from 2,250,000, 2,250,000, you will get 1,500. So you have 2,137,500. 2,137,500. Remember the answer to number three is B. Then number four now. What is the net receivable after considering the general allowance at the current year end? A. 2,076,500. B. 2,137,500. C. 2,145,000. D. 2,189,500. E. 2,146,500. Number 4. What is the net receivable after considering the general allowance at the current year end? A. 2,147,500. C. 2,146,500. E. 2,148,000. Is B. Number five. Which of the following is not? Take note of the word not. A disclosure requirement for property, plant, and equipment as per IAS 16. Property, plant, and equipment. A. The measurement basis used for determining the gross carrying amount of the property, plant, and equipment. This is required. B, the number of inspections carried out on items of property, plant, and equipment. This is not required. So the answer should be option B. C, the depreciation methods used for each major class of property, plant, and equipment. This is required. D, the impairment loss is recognized during the period is equally, uh, is equally required. E, the total cost of property, plant, and equipment acquired through business combination. This is required. Now, the answer to number five is B. Number six, which of the following events can lead to a change in the partnership? A, introduction of additional capital by a partner. No, that one cannot lead to a change in partnership. B, establishment of a new marketing strategy. No, this cannot lead to a change in partnership. C, admission of a new partner to the firm. Yes, this will lead to a change in partnership. D, Hiring of additional manager by the partnership, no. It will not lead to a change in partnership composition. E, implementation of a new financial management system, no. So the answer, correct answer to number six is C. Use the information below to answer questions seven and eight. On April 1st, the company had an opening inventory of 250 units. Which cost 75 naira each? 
during the month, it purchased 750 units at 900 uh, at 19 naira each and issue 500 units. Number seven, using the first in first out people method, what is the value of the closing inventories after the company issued 500 units? A, 37,000 naira. B, 37,500 naira. C, 38,750 naira. D, 42,500 naira. E, 45,000 naira. Now, remember the opening inventory will be, was 250 units. Opening. Inventory. 250 units. That will be the first to be issued. Opening. Inventory. Of 250. After issuing 250, remember the total number of units they want to issue is 500. That means from this 750, they will issue additional 250. 250 from the opening inventory, 250 from the purchase of 750. Then you'll be left with the balance of 500 units. So the closing inventory now, closing inventory, closing inventories. From the balance of 500, that is 750 minus additional 250. You know, the first 250 here, this is one. Then the second 250 minus another 250. 250 plus 250 making 500. This 750, you'll be left with 500 there as well. So 500 units at what value? At 90 naira. 750 minus 250, that is 500. 500 times 90. That gives us 45,000 naira. So the value of the closing inventory is 45,000 naira. So the correct answer is option E. So E is the answer to number 7. Number 7. E. Number 8. Using the weighted average cost method, what is the cost per unit of the closing inventories? After the company issued 500 units, A, 82 naira 50 cobble, B, 83 naira 75 cobble, C, 85 naira, D, 86 naira 25 cobble, E, 87 naira 50 cobble. Now let's have the solution to number 8. Opening stocks or opening inventories. That is 250 units at 75 naira. That is 250 units at 75 naira. 250 times 75, that gives us 18,750 naira. 18,750. Then purchase. We bought additional 750 units at 90 naira each. 750 units at 90 naira each. That is 750 times 90. That gives us 67,500. 67,500. If you add it to the value of the opening inventory, which is 18,750 plus 18,750, then you have 86,250. 86,250. Then the total units received so far is 250 plus 750. That is 1,000. Cost per unit now. Cost per unit. That will be 86,250. Divided by 1,000. Divided by 1,000. That gives us 86, 86 naira. 25 cobble. That is the price you will use to value the closing inventory. So the answer to number 8 is D. Number 8. We have D. Number 9. Which of the following best describes 
the impact of technological advancement on accounting operations. So the impact of technological advancements on accounting operations, that is what we need. A, technology has made accounting more complex and less efficient, leading to data analysis challenges. This is not correct. B, technological advancements have had no significant impact on accounting practices and financial organizations. B is not correct. C, the use of technological advancement software has made accounting more efficient, particularly in data analysis, financial organization, and mainly economic activities. C could be the correct answer. D, accounting operations have become slower due to the integration of technological advanced software. This is not correct. E, technology had made accounting easier, but it has not improved data analysis of financial organizations. E is not correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Number nine, we have C. Number 10, which of the following statements correctly describes cash basis of accounting? So the one that describes the cash basis of accounting. A. Revenue is recognized in the period when it is earned, regardless of where the cash is received. This is accrual basis. So it's not correct for cash basis. B. Expenses are recognized in the period when they are incurred, regardless of when they are paid. This also describes the accrual basis. Both A and B described accrual basis. C. Revenue is recognized in the period when the cash is received, regardless of when it is earned. So this is correct for cash basis. Now let's check the other option, whether both revenue and expenditure will be put together. Then D. Expenses are not recognized in the period when they are paid, regardless of when they are Killed. This D is not correct. E. Both revenue and expenses are recognized in the period when they are in chaos, regardless of cash transaction. So this is not correct. So the correct answer is C. Number 10. Number 10. C. I will stop this video here. In my next lecture, I will consider number 11 to number 20. Please drop the love emoji, like the video, also share it with others. Thanks for watching, Ezekiel.